Whenever we're talking about gases, there will come a point where we're going to cover the ideal gas law. Now, the ideal gas law itself is just PV equals nRT. Here, pressure will be in atmospheres. And remember, the typical types of conversions here are one atmosphere equals 760 tours or 760 millimeters of mercury. V represents volume in liters. N is representing the moles, the total moles of gas within the container. R is our gas constant, and its units basically influence the units of all the other variables. Because it has liters in it, that's why volume is in liters. Because it has atmospheres, that's why pressure ideally has to be in atmospheres. Moles are for N, and temperature has to be in Kelvin. R itself is 0 0.08206 liters times atmospheres over moles times K. This is our typical ideal gas law, but there are derivatives of it. Now, we're going to say here, when we're, talking, when we're involving molar weight or molar mass or molecular weight, all meaning the same thing, then our ideal gas law can change to these two other forms. So these are two other equations dealing with the ideal gas law. Now, here, MW stands for molar weight or molecular weight of the gas. So we're going to say here molecular weight equals MRT over PV. So molecular weight here of the gas will be in grams per mole for its units. Little m represents the mass of the gas in grams. Now we'd use this version if they're asking you to determine um, maybe the molar mass of the gas and they give you the grams of the unknown gas. You just plug in those grams to find out molar weight. Now if they start talking about density of a gas molecule, then we use this second version of the equation. Remember, density itself is mass over volume. So that's M over V. So what happened here was we took the mass here, we took the volume here, and we combined them together, and that's how we got this density here. So in this other version, it's molecular weight or molar weight of the gas equals density times R, which is our gas constant, times T, temperature in Kelvin, divided by pressure in atmospheres. Again, MW is grams per mole. Density here is, is grams per liter. We're accustomed to seeing density as being grams per centimeters cubed or grams per milliliters. That's true too, but that is for solids and liquids because they're more dense. Gases are not as dense so they don't use centimeters cubed or milliliters. Instead, we use liters. So just remember that distinction. So we have these three different versions of the ideal gas law. This one is just your basic normal type. We use the other two anytime they're talking about the molecular weight or molar weight of a gas particle or gas molecule. If they give us the mass in grams, we'd use this first version. If they're referring to the density of the gas, we use this third version here. So just make sure you remember the different versions of the ideal gas law and when to apply them.